Welcome to Pennsylvania. What up? Coming to you live from somewhere in Pennsylvania. We're going on another road trip in the Honda Z. Unfortunately, we're not going to see the Wienermobile this time, but we're going to see a bunch of cool K cars. I'm going to the DMV. It's kind of one of my favorite places to go in these K cars just because I can stop at a lot of places. It's not too far where I feel like I'm pushing the Z, but it's far enough where I can meet up with 844 Imports, Method Auto Group, Toshi. And this trip in particular, I'm actually gonna sell some of the cappuccino parts. But the main reason for this trip is that, one, I'm buying the Honda Moto Compacto from 844 Imports. That's gonna be in the waffle very soon. And then two, I'm gonna finally buy the three spokes that are most likely going on the cappuccino. I'm not 100% sure, but most likely. Either way, I'm keeping it in the hoard. Like that's something that I wanna definitely keep for a long time for my next K or the next K or the next K. Left onto West Shelton Road. Then your destination will be on the left. Drop off number one complete. Now let's head back to the Z, make our second drop off. Continue on I-95 South for four miles. Just made it to spot number two. This thing is sick. Stop number three, you already know. Gotta stop by the homies at Method Auto Group. Dropped off some merch, dropped off the cappuccino pin. Moment of silence for this fire ass Supra. What's this? I think it's a 33. This I believe they just posted on their Instagram. Very shaggy skyline. Look at these seats. Is this seat covers? Wow, this is a stock seat. Pretty cool. Now we are at the Method Auto Group location number two. Here's that auto zen we just saw. This guy has the lift gate. I feel like these are pretty rare. Dumps are kind of a dime a dozen, but I don't really see a lot of the lift gates. And speaking of rare, I've never seen a Suzuki Cero mode, whatever that says, M something. This is a fun little hot hatch. Power windows, got a speaker there. This seat looks nice. Kind of has the same cluster as the Ultra Works. I wonder what year this is. I think it's like a 98. I'll put it on the screen right now, but this is cool. Got some headroom. It's automatic. Three speed. AC and everything is there. Rear seats actually look really spacious. Hold up. Hold up. It actually looks like a pretty spacious K. I didn't adjust the seat at all. Oh yeah, look at this. Yo, this is a, look at the seats. It's because they go so far back. I was good driver wise and my knees aren't even touching. That is very shocking for a car this size. It's like, this is like the perfect example of a K. You see K cars and you think they're really small. Then you get inside of them and you realize cup holders on both sides. Got the cool JDM time correct speakers. All right, this is cool. Let's move over to the next one. Next, we got this Nissan March. This by far has one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. You guys know how much I love doilies. We haven't seen doilies on the channel in a while. But have you seen doilies that have the car name on them? It says March. That's like me having Honda Z doilies that have like Z's on them. They said this thing drives crazy. It's a 1000cc, so technically it's not a K car. It's only a four speed too. Wow, I really wonder what this drives like. I'm gonna make a separate video, maybe on this guy. We're definitely gonna make a separate video on that last Subaru Pilu at the end. That thing looks crazy. But here's this Nissan March. This guy is $4,000. This one is $5,000. It's interesting. It looks like one of those like old Corollas 
or something that looks old but not even old in a bad way old in like a classic clean way like everything looks appropriate like whoever had this car in japan definitely took care of it like look at those door cards i'm curious on what's under the hood on this guy i wonder if it's turbo or if it's just like the normal suzuki carry motor yeah it's a normal carbureted suzuki carry motor if this was turbo though wicked this he told me is at 1000 cc we might make a separate video on it but either way if i don't end up doing that i do want to pop the hood and see what that's like if i know how okay right here even opens like an old car lots of room again this looks like it could be turbo maybe they make a nissan march that's just like this but turbo then we got some of the big jdm bad boys some ssrs that's automatic with a nardi this guy's also automatic love the wheels then we got this s chassis left hand drive too that's surprising and then we have maybe the coolest car here i don't really know much about this it's a 99 so this might be one of the very few that are already here in america but this guy's called a subaru pilu it's this like booger green color if it had some rims it'd be crazy i love the front end it's a bit aggressive the eyes kind of go down it's tall it's almost like that i had some movie just drove it's also supercharged has an airbag power windows all around has the little benchy which is nice and dual armrest i know that's a glove box small cup holder there ac double glove box yeah we got we got to make a separate video on this because this thing just has so many quirks that i haven't seen before like look at the seat let's say this person is tall and they need some additional headroom you can put the seat down like look at this this seat is in place right now like look you can put that down you can put this back you can put it down of course like a bed power windows again yeah this is this needs its own moment i'm gonna head out of here now though we're going to make some more moves stay tuned for the separate video on the pilu and maybe i'll also drive this nissan march and this was pretty cool too next stop toshi imports with the homie i see you been using this like crazy like going like for real off-roading yeah yeah real stuff i'm about to do some fake off-roading in a couple days but i just got a free cone let me show you the rims that i got the rims that i've been talking about over and over and over and over i finally secured some good old three spokes these are 14s right now i have 16s on the cappuccino so we're gonna see how it looks if it doesn't fit as nice i'm on coilover so i can always adjust it but if i don't love the way it looks i'll just keep it and put it like i said on a future k car what is this this is a honda xr 50 factory supermoto only sold in japan you have a lot of questions the only vertical 50 um, that you'll see fully street legal if anyone's wondering yes this is the second time in the same day that i'm eating nando's as much as i love hot dogs and much love all that stuff that's pretty obtainable but whenever i'm in the dmv i have to get nando's nando's is a staple if you're ever in dc virginia maryland come get nando's but now let me scarf this all down we'll head back to the hotel and update you guys on the honda z how it's doing and etc etc what up so it's the next day and i don't really haven't spoken too much about the driving experience of the honda z like i've driven it about six hours already and to be honest there isn't much to say like I've done this road trip in several K cars, the Wagon R, the Jimny, the Honda Life, the Cappuccino, the Beats, basically any car I bought at 844 Imports. And usually, you know, it might be uncomfortable, it's small, it's a two seater, is it really gonna do it? But this guy is like, I almost feel like I'm not driving a K car. It's a four speed automatic, so I'm not really worried about my speeds on the highway. It's definitely high up. It's almost like the Jimny that I drove, but the Jimny is nothing like this as far as comfortability goes. It's quiet, the engine's in the back. The only thing I would say is bad about the Z is the MPGs. 
but I am also driving on the road doing 60, 70 miles per hour for a long extended time. I would have to say I'm getting around maybe like 25, which isn't terrible, it's a K car, you know, I'm doing road trips, the car is not made for that. But the Minica probably gets close to like 30-ish, the Cappuccino maybe even close to like 40-ish. And this one has a big tank, I'm also putting 93. I probably already spent like 60, 70 bucks on gas already. I'm not even on my way home yet. I'm still in Baltimore. We gotta stop at 844 Airport to make some more videos. Besides that, like the Z is just perfect. It's just such a perfect daily driver K car. Like there's nothing I would change about this. I know sometimes I say, yeah, I wish it was five speed, but doing a drive like this, I don't wanna be downshifting. I just wanna put my foot on the gas, put my foot on the brake, sit back, relax. Like it's going over these bumps like nothing. Like it's not as comfortable with my Toyota Crown, of course. But for this being a K car, it's like unbelievable. Like I'm so happy that I got it. I'm gonna do a waffle in a couple days and maybe it'll be gone soon. But even just enjoying it for this road trip, seeing it in Japan, getting like that full experience and then seeing it like six months ago when I saw the first ever Honda Z, like now that I officially own one, this is really one of the greatest K cars that I've ever owned. And by greatest, what I really mean is more like complete. Like I feel like this car doesn't have a lot of cons. There's definitely some things that could be improved in really any car. But as far as like quiet goes, great. Comfortability, great. It's four wheel drive, so technically I can go over, you know, whatever terrain. It's automatic, which pro or con, has AC, has dual airbags, has crumple zones, has my seats that can go up and I can fit four wheels and a cone and a Honda, and a Honda Moto Compacto soon central locks power windows like you know what could i add to this car to make it better yes i guess if i had a bigger motor but then it takes away the k stuff like you know of course every k car which had a bigger motor but it's comfortable like even sitting in the driver's seat like i would have no issue driving this car all the way to california to miami stuff like that i would say the driving experience wouldn't be as fun as a cappuccino maybe I, that's one thing i could say the driving experience isn't super fun it's not quirky it's not peppy i'm not sitting over the wheels like there's nothing like that as far as the z goes but for everyday use like this i can't think of a better k car like even at the hats movie drove it was fun it was great it was quick but like comfortability wise i'm taking the z stop number like 18 on the trip Currently meeting up with Josh at 844 Import, picking up the keys to his Daihatsu Hijet that I want to make a video on. And these two cars here are actually for sale at Leon. So if you want to hit him up, the same dude I bought the rims from, Toshi Imports. He just imported these two bad boys. They're probably soon to be for sale. I don't even think he's seen them yet. This is me getting a first access look. This guy's automatic, four speed, 37,000 kilometers. Wow, that's low. Interior is mint, got the same cool little cup holders, power windows all around. Power windows back here too. Let's see if there's any differences from the one we just saw. This one has a little cubby there, another 12 volt. I'm kind of jealous that the Z doesn't have one and all the other cars have one. And then he also has this Wagon R RS Twin Cam Turbo. I actually want to pop the hood on this and see if it has the same motor as the Cappuccino. But again, just like Toshi Import style, very clean. Loving this like suede interior, 78,000 kilometers, five speed. I think he also told me that it has the N1 ECU, which is the same one that I have in my cappuccino. And if so, that means this thing definitely rips. Oh yeah, it has the, the EA21 motor. It's like the cast iron cool one. HKS filter. Yeah, I love the Wagon R. When I had my Wagon R, I love that thing. But here's a cool little one, two, three K lineup. Now, let's head straight to 844 Imports. Check out some more cool cars. So we just made it to 844 Imports. There's definitely some goodies here. There's definitely some cars that I really want to drive. I think I have to make a separate video on this high jet. If you guys don't know, my first ever K ever was a high jet. So I'm a bit biased, but this is one of the new generations. Got some cup holders here. That's a four wheel drive switch. Space for a double din, a coin holder. What else? No airbag yet, but we do get some horns, some empty switches. This one's obviously four-wheel drive. 
Got some rims on there, which is always good. Yeah, I definitely gotta make a whole video on this guy just because K truck is really like K's the way. And then we have a 1000cc Suzuki Wagon R. So this is a car I really don't even know too much about. It goes to 160 though, which is cool. Interior has this nice pattern. Let me see, is it really that big of a, oh yeah, it is. Wow, the interior is much bigger. You guys just saw we saw that other Wagon R a couple minutes ago. But yeah, this is much wider. Like, I can't even touch the door. Again, with the dual glove boxes. Wow. Looks like all these new, bigger cars got dual glove boxes. But what else we got in here? Back seats, how do these feel? So technically, like, wagon our size, but my knees don't touch. There's some good room. Lots of headroom. Even have some trunk space back there. All right. This is gonna be another cool car. Maybe I'll show this more in the next video. And then two more Suzuki Shiro's or Severo's, whatever they're called. And I've been talking about body kits and I've been saying I wanna buy more cars with body kits because this one and the one we saw earlier looks basically exactly the same. But this guy, same exact car, same motor, same everything, just with the kit. Different tail lights, different rear bumper. Like look at these, these are two same exact cars and they look completely different. This one even has the little leather back here. Still got power windows. Got some wood grain. Let's check this out. Different cluster. Looks like Alice in the Wonderland up there. That's cool. Power windows. This is actually a four door too. I didn't even realize. The one that we saw at Method was a two door. This is a four door. Then we got this white one here. Check this out. Nice pattern, power windows again. Completely different normal looking cluster. Automatic. Got some space. Looks good, pretty cool. I think I'm gonna make a separate video here though. So now, let's head back into the Honda Z. You guys remember this Jimny? We gotta show this Jimny some love. I saw Josh those rims, put them on here with the new tires i think he fell in love with this that's why he hasn't really posted it for sale or anything and speaking of how could i forget this i almost forgot the most important part here is the honda moto compacto your favorite honda fanboy just picked up another honda so now let's put this in the back of the honda Z, and i can show you those tri spokes that i bought yesterday so these are Volk Racing C Ultras. I love tri spoke. So like I said, these are only 14 by five. I have 16 by sevens on the cappuccino right now. So I feel like this isn't enough tire for that car. Like you guys saw, I went the other day, I went like hundred miles per hour. So I don't really love this. I might have to get a beefier tire if possible. I don't really want to run a spacer. I just want something a little thicker. But the main reason I bought these is one, obviously the tri spokes, two, they're four by everything. So they're four by 110, 100, 143. So I can put this on essentially basically any K car. And they came with tires that basically look brand new. So shout out to Toshi, I had to pick these up. And he also gave me this cone which i believe i translate and it says like vehicle parking or this is where you put your car so let's put this here put the honda motor compacto oh my god i thought this was supposed to be light put this in here and now we can officially head back to new york and complete the last leg of this road trip we still got about like 400 miles to go probably at least like three four hours too so let's start the honda z back up head back to queens Starts up every time. Love this car. two hours and that also means that I have half a tank what I've learned I can only drive two hours not stop at the highway granted around this speed which is 6,000 rpm which I agree is very high but it looks like I'm most likely gonna have to add some sort of gas before I get home so I'll probably do that next driving wise again the Z is great like I said the only con I would say is the MPGs I know I'm pretty up there on the RPMs, but honestly, like if I put my foot down, I could really go even faster and I'm going uphill. 
So although, you know, I'm close to seven, I feel like it has more in it. I think it's just geared lower. And if anyone thinks I'm going 110, 120 the entire time, I'm mostly doing like intervals. So I'll drop down to 90, be much lower on the RPMs and do this for maybe 10, 15 miles in the right lane going nice and slow. <laughs> Welcome to New York. And now that we're back in New York, there's only a couple things left to do before we end this video. One, update on my gas. I drove about 200 miles, like I said, four hours, give or take, till I have a complete empty tank. My thoughts on the Z when it comes to a road trip car, great. I've said this over and over. I don't want to be a broken record at this point, but it's good. Like I said, the only con is the MPGs are probably in the low 20s, maybe mid 20s. That's one thing I would say. But to get the comfortability, to get the space, to get the luxury, I guess, the dual airbags, the crumple zones, the four-speed automatic, it's a give or take, depending on what's more important to you. And last and more importantly, first stop since coming back to New York, you know we got to grab ourselves a hot dog. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a great video, a great time. Honda Z Waffle coming soon. Peace out. This is what I call a perfect hot dog. Ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut, natural casing. Shout out to Nathan's. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Remember the name. This is for the fame.